Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Well, I got my sidekick over here too. Miss Juno. Mm-hmm. And we got a box. This one's coming from Midway USA. It's one that's been in my possession for a while. And I forgot about it. And I'm doing some house cleaning this weekend. And I, I found these couple of boxes. So I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at them. Doing the unboxing today is my 8020S that I modified with original goat scales, aluminum scales that I polished and it's up the way I like them. I have a funny feeling. Oh yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got a couple of knives in there. Okay. There it is there. I forgot I ordered a hatchet. Let's take a look at the hatchet. This is a... Uh, Cold Steel Hatchet, Hudson Bay Camp Hatchet, feels loose already, I think you're supposed to be able to tighten this piece up though, I don't have my wrenches out here but I'll do it, I'll check into that and let you know if it tightened up nicely, made in Taiwan, this is made with uh, 1055 um, high carbon steel, or I shouldn't really say high carbon, maybe like mid grade carbon steel or something. Genuine Hickory. Now, as y'all know, I don't know nothing about axes and all the different parts and stuff like that. I just know that they're, they're meant to split wood and, <laughs> and do stuff like that. These aren't collectors. I got these to be tools. Sort of sharp. Not really. Let's see. Nah, okay, we're not gonna say that's sharp. But you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's sharp for an axe though. You know, because I, I don't expect an axe to be like razor blade sharp like one of my knives. Sort of feels like there's a burr on it. I have never used an axe before, people. So this is going to be a new thing for me. I've used chainsaws before, but I've never used an axe. Now, as you all saw me doing with the betoning the wood, that was a new thing for me, too. I spent a lot of time in the outdoors, but I never did camp stuff. Because, I don't know, our outdoors consisted of staying at a ranch and so we had you know a place to stay at we, we, we would go you know camp out the, at the creek and stuff go fishing overnight or something like that but uh i don't know if i'd really call that like hardcore camping or something like that like survival type camping no that's dull okay that's dull dull <laughs> so the head's a little bit loose and the blade's dull that's all I can tell you about this one so far. <laughs> but I know I can tighten up this head. That's the way that this one's constructed so, so you can tighten it up. That's the way you keep it from sliding off. Feels really head heavy though. Let's see how much it weighs. Was that 4.21 ounces? 
Is that what that says? 4.2 ounces. Oh no, one pound, 4.2 ounces. One, po one pound, 4.2 ounces. And you know what? I don't know, just looking at this, you know, because I was thinking about getting a big axe. But if you're in a survival situation, I don't know if you want a big axe. To tell you the truth. I don't know, you know, I'm not a survivalist, so I'm not a professional on it. But I'm just thinking to myself that, you know, like from my army days, I wouldn't want to be carrying something that was going to add a whole bunch of weight to my gear that I'm carrying. And this right here has weight to it. Just this little tiny, um, you know, hatchet. And this one would be good for doing like small, small tasks, like, you know, like, like, uh, splitting wood, you know, splitting your, your, your smaller pieces of wood and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't think this would be good for chopping down a tree unless the trees are like a small diameter tree, like maybe three or four inch tree or something. But man, you could chop down a tree, it'd just take you forever. <laughs> it's actually pretty sweet. Got to try it out. Got to try it out. It's been so hot around here that I haven't wanted to get, get outside, people. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to get out there and do some stuff, but it's been, like, hot. And it's like, I'm not the kind of person that likes being in a lot of extreme heat. The 80s, low 90s, I can handle that, but when it starts getting the high 90s and, and into the hundreds, that's when it starts getting a little bit too hot for me. This one doesn't come with a sheath or anything. I can't remember where I paid for it. Let me see if there's a receipt. I can't remember what I paid for, but I remember it wasn't expensive. I, I want to say like 20 something dollars or something like that. I think it was really inexpensive. But this is my first hatchet. I sort of want to try out some of those um, American-made ones that are one piece, um, one piece of uh, a 1055 steel. And what's the name of them? I forget the name of them. It's a real popular brand in the United States. It's been around for a long time, and they make and they they make affordable hatchets and axes, you know, like under a hundred dollars. And I, I've been thinking about getting one of those, trying one of those out because I've, I've been watching a lot of videos on them, but. Uh, like for uh, splitting wood, they're not usually the best because they said they're they're too thin. They don't have that big wedge or whatever. I actually like it. All right, people. This is a cold steel Hudson Bay hatchet. Cold steel Hudson Bay hatchet. Ten fifty five steel. It's got the the head that you you tighten up onto the um to your wooden handle. I don't know what all these, I know all these different parts have different um, names for them. Like the hammer side and the, and the um, blade side. I know they got all different heel toes or whatever. They have different names for them. I'm, I'm not up on all the names though. The handle to me feels kind of slippery. I think I would like Creighton or a, Cray, a Crayx type handle better. But anyway. There it is there. Now try that out. Peace to let up.